Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is Rustam and uh, uh, I'm recording this lecture for BS second semester students who study uh, communication skills or English second uh, at Government Degree College of Aveliya. Uh, dear students, already uh, many lectures have been given to you, delivered to you in the physical classroom. But in order to uh, cover the remaining course, I'm going to uh, record series of lectures short videos uh, for you okay and uh, things which i have already been taught to you uh, will be covered again uh, through these short videos so i have already created uh, an online classroom known as google classroom so links will be shared there and whatsapp group is also uh, there and this youtube channel rustam's way of learning english is also there so you can contact me if you face any challenge or any difficulty in understanding these lectures so in front of you is our course content as you can see uh, uh, bs english one to one english second communication skills so in this course we are supposed to study pronunciation and capitalization this is gr uh, grammar portion so active and passive voice and reported speech so uh, I'll uh, record lectures on these uh, notions and concepts but uh, today I'll talk about uh, uh, communication in general. So reading skills and writing skills they are also part of uh, this course and then oral communication that is speaking, uh, listening and speaking. This is also our course content and at the end we'll talk about vocabulary. So in order to understand what is uh, reading, writing, listening and speaking because these are known as major uh, language skills. Okay, These are known as major language skills and uh, two of these skills that is speaking and writing. They are they, these are known as uh, productive skills and they, uh, they we communicate our ideas through with the help of listening, uh, speaking and writing. Okay, So uh, both of these so uh, uh, what is uh, actually uh, we communicate our ideas with the help of writing and speaking so that's why this course has been named as communication skill as you can see at the top communication skills so uh, the first short video will be about communication because uh, all types of writing uh, whether we are sending an sms whether we are sending uh, a tweet uh, on twitter facebook post or an email, a job application, a letter, uh, or minutes of the meeting. There are so many forms of writing. So these pieces of writing uh, actually are communicative pieces. So we communicate with the help of writing. So goes with uh, speaking. So when we speak, there are many forms of speech like uh, we can have a group discussion, an interview, we can make a speech, a declamation, we can have a debate and a seminar uh, you know a symposium a presentation a multimedia presentation so all these are formats and forms of communication the spoken communication so the word communication is very important so today uh, in this short video i'll just begin my uh, course uh, with the help of explanation of uh, i'll start uh, with my uh, this video with the, uh, with an explanation of communication skill so what is communication let's uh, scroll down to the fresh page so uh, let's say you have got a message message or a piece of information okay and uh, you want to co convey it to your reader or you you have a reader or you have a listener let's say listener so you if you are speaking you are a speaker okay you are a speaker or you can be a writer because writing and speaking are two important modes of communication so this writer has got a message and this message he or she wants to get across to the listener or reader so what we are to we are going to do first of all a thought or a message we we can also say a thought in our mind okay a thought or a message okay a piece of information has to be encoded what what do we mean by encoded encode encode mean we have to give we have to dress up our thought using a language so dressing up a thought with words uh, is known as encoding so let's say we select english as our code so english is a code so our th thought or our message will come uh, out of our brain and it will 
we we are going to speak it or we are going to write it on the paper okay and what happens now we are going to send it to, uh, to the reader or listener so what uh, encoding has been done in english so english is a code so message has been encoded in english now if you are a reader so this message is in the written form okay in the uh, in the form of english words english sentences so it is in front of you and you are reading it with the help of eyes if you are sighted person and if you are uh, non sighted then you may be using a braille system or you may be using fingers and you may be running your fingers over the braille uh, you know uh, insertions so uh, this video is for sighted person those who have got eyes so let's say you uh, uh, you are a sighted person suppose uh, you are not uh, you are not uh, non sighted you are sighted so you will be using uh, first of all so uh, you will be using uh, you know uh, eyes eyes okay eyes so uh, let's first talk about reading okay reading and how you are going to uh, uh, decode the message so there are so many words let's see there are so many words on the page okay and the in in these words in these written words there is something known as message but the message is in the background it is embedded it is shrouded in the code so you have to extract that message you have to extract you have to take it out from the uh, maze of code so what you are going to do you, uh, the text goes into your brain or mind uh, through your eyes and inside the eyes uh, inside the brain we have first of all short term memory okay and then we have long term memory so your uh, written message stays in short term memory for a while and your cognitive framework extracts the meaning and discards the uh, so many uh, pieces of information which are not required okay so so the message is extracted and then the gist or the essence uh, is kept in long term memory so uh, now hope you have got an idea that uh, how do we do reading okay so in reading uh, let's define reading okay in reading what do we do we use uh, reading is a process reading is a okay let me write the word process reading is a process so what is the what is this process what does this process do this process reading is a process to extract to extract to extract meaning to extract meaning okay to extract meaning uh, from where from a piece of writing okay from a piece of writing okay so uh, is it a physical process yes reading is a physical process physical process why because we use eyes eyes is a physical thing so we for reading we we do have to have eyes okay and it's a mental process yes it's a mental process or cognitive process cognitive cognitive okay cognitive mean brain or mind brain is a physical thing and inside brain we have mind so why because we have written words like a b c d or let's say uh, a notebook a copy okay uh, uh, a f uh, you know a food item okay an apple let's say an apple these are words on the page okay so these words just we uh, we see uh, these are uh, words with our eye so actually we are scanning our eyes over these words so these words just leave the page okay and they fly from the page they leave the page and get into into our brain through our eyes okay eyes and then brain so that's why uh, reading is defined as reading is both a physical and a mental process of of extracting meaning extract the way we extract juice uh, you know we uh, squash the orange and we extract the juice from the uh, uh, orange uh, oranges so our uh, lemon uh, pieces so extraction so uh, this extraction takes place inside the mind inside the mind so what do we extract we extract the meaning or message or the thought uh, from the encoded words okay so actually initially uh, there was a thought there was a thought or there was an idea an idea 
are a message. These are synonymous terms. Okay, are meaning. So these meaning, these thoughts, these ideas, they were encoded. They were encoded in a language. Urdu, Hindi, Ko, Pashto, English. Now, after uh, dressing up these thoughts uh, in the form of words, we sent them to the listener or the reader. Okay. uh we may use a voice a wire we a paper okay uh you know uh some transmission mode okay when it is received if it is uh, if let's say if it is reading so you will be needing eyes if it is uh, you know listening you will be uh, needing you will need uh, ears okay through ears the message gets into your mind and through eyes the message gets into your brain or mind Uh, inside the mind i'll talk about it later on uh, if for reading purposes uh, or for listening purposes we have a short term memory there is no physical part in the brain although uh, when you move into sixth semester i'll talk about neuro linguistics and psycho linguistics uh, we have a left uh, brain a brain has got two hemispheres left hemisphere and right hemisphere so our language is processed in left hem- hemisphere in the broca area uh we produce language and in the wernicke area we understand and comprehend we extract meaning so our extraction of meaning uh it, it takes place in a uh, wernicke area okay uh, these are these are the brain scientists who found out uh, about uh, language uh, inside the brain so our uh, uh, the wernicke area is actually the area just uh, on to the left side of the brain uh, just behind the frontal lobe where reading comprehension takes place so uh, we extract the meaning and message and uh, now its message stays in our long term memory so uh, now reading comprehension uh, when we comprehend we try to understand a reading passage uh, now different readers have different potential and different capabilities so sometime uh, people uh, readers are able to extract the whole message sometimes they are able to extract or uh, you know just uh, dig out only the part of the message and sometimes they uh, can't even understand a single uh, word and they are unable to find out or trace the message embedded in the uh, you know code of words so i'll talk about uh, these levels of comprehension and understanding in the uh, next video but uh, i'm just starting up i'm dr- just trying to warm you up towards your course content so uh, in second semester of department of english uh, you are going to study general english and uh, its subtitle is communication skills and now we are starting with reading so before i finish this video i would like to uh, uh, quickly give a brief uh, definition that reading is uh, both physical and mental process of extraction uh, ex- extraction of meaning uh, from the written symbols or written words and uh, you are requested to subscribe the channel and uh, uh, press the bell icon and also be very active in uh, whatsapp group and uh, google classroom now there will be a uh, series of videos uh, connected with uh, reading skills thank you very much